Reading is a perfect little pastime that probably all people would be pleased to pursue, but planning to program proves particularly problematic when presently people parry to a plethora of other pleasures more often preferred. So to prevent prolonged deprivation of perfectly primed pupils, let's push out a personally pinned app for your programming pleasure. Sorry about that intro, apparently I really had to pee. All right, so what's on the docket for this weekend's project? Well, I wanna show you how to program a very simple web application using Google's App Script program, which I'm sure most of you probably didn't even know existed. If you go to script.google.com, you'll see an interface that allows you to make web scripts, which are primarily intended for Google Docs spreadsheets. But you can also use this to make standalone web apps, which is what we're gonna do. On the left, click blank project to get started with a blank slate. All right, now what should we make? I guess I'll decide for us since I can't really hear any of the suggestions you're shouting at your screen right now. What about an app that calculates the square root of an inputted number? Sounds good. Thanks guys. The first thing that we gotta do is save our program as a version. So go to File, Manage Versions, and let's call it Square Root Calculator and click OK. Since this is our first version, here just put Initialized Project and then click Save and OK. Now let's make a user interface. So go to File, Build a User Interface, and then this should open up in a new window. If you've ever worked with Visual Studio before, this type of interface should look very familiar. On the left side, you have different objects that you can add to the form. And on the right side, you have details about those selected objects that you can then customize. Let's make a title label for our app as an example. Click and drag the label object onto your app. The ID is how the code identifies this object, so let's change this to LBL title. For text, type what you want it to say. Then you can change the font characteristics until you have a title that you like. Next, just drag out another label to use for the program description. Let's call this one LBL Desk and say, please enter a root number to calculate. Okay, now let's make some user input fields. In order to do this, we first need to drag out what's called a flow panel, which is a way of combining all the user interface items into one container to prevent runtime errors. Now drag out a text box into the flow panel and call it txt root. And in order to pass values from this text box, you also want to set the name to txt root. Just leave the text box blank for now. After that, let's drag a button onto the flow panel and call it btn calculate for both the ID and for the name. Change the text to say calculate. Lastly, we need a way to display an answer. So drag out another label and put it right below the button in the flow panel. Call it LBL answer and leave the text blank for now. Okay, now go to file and save and save it as SQR root GUI and then switch back to your code window. The programming language that the Google app script runs off of is JavaScript. So if you don't know what JavaScript is, you can watch this video to get a beginner's tutorial on it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna assume that you already know. Since this is a web app, our first function needs to be called do get in order to initialize the interface. Inside this function, we need to make a variable that creates a new application. Then we can assign this variable to load the GUI interface. And at the end of the function, return all the changes to the app. All right, that's it for the load function. Now we need to create another function that tells the app what to do when the button is clicked. What we want to do is pass the user inputted number to this function. So in parentheses, make a variable and just call it user input. The first thing to do is to assign the application info as a variable. Then to get the user inputted text, we can call our user input variable and then get the parameter attributes for txt root, our text box. Then we can store all that as a variable called original number. A nice thing about JavaScript is that it has a lot of math objects built into it. So what we can do is make a new variable for the square root and set it equal to math.squareRoot of our original number. Next, we need to display our answer. 
So in our app, get the element ID of our answer label and set its text attribute to say the square root is and then concatenate our square root variable. Lastly, just return the app like we did with our other function. Go ahead and save this, but before we can test it, we first need to attach this function that we just created to our button and tell it what user input to pass to it. So switch back over to the GUI editor and select Calculate Button. On the right, scroll down until you see the On Mouse Click event. Underneath that, click Add Server and add the Button Clicked function. Then let's tell it which user input to pass by clicking on the plus sign and entering txt root, which is the name of our text box. Now you can save and close out of this page and on the code page go to publish, deploy as web app. You can choose who all can see this app and then click update. It will return a URL from which you can access your web app. Visiting the URL, you can see your app enter in a root number, and then click Calculate to display the square root. I know that this is a very simple app, but I did that on purpose. I wanted to show you the basics so that you can use that and then take it to the next level. If you make something cool, please share it with me in the comments below. If you want more programming tutorials, click here to visit my programming playlist. Or you can click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click here to visit my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash gigafied. All right, that's it for this tutorial. And as always, until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.